Hey everyone, today we have a topic of autoimmune disorder in pregnancy that is systemic lupus erythematis. Now the disease itself uh, in pregnancy it complicates with the preeclampsia. So first of all uh, SLE is an autoimmune disorder that involves multi systems respiratory system, cardiovascular system, central nervous system, everything. What happens actually is there are polyclonal B cell activation, dysfunctional polyclonal B cell activation that will lead to formation of antibody against nuclear materials. So this will make immune complexes and this immune complexes will deposit into the vascular beds of various system and make problem there. There is also T cell dysfunctions. There are 11 criteria, <coughs> 11 uh, criteria above which 4 or more than 4 criteria are present, then we can uh, really make the diagnosis of SLE. What are those uh, 11 criteria? For first of all, some clinical criteria like malar rash, discoid rash, photosensitivity oral ulcers, arthritis of non-erosive type involving more than two peripheral joints, evidence and symptoms of pleuritis, pericarditis, evidence of renal involvement like proteinuria more than 0.5 gram per day or plus 3 in dipstick, any neurological symptom like seizure, psychosis, Hematological disorders like hemolytic anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia. Biochemical criteria like positive anti-nuclear antibodies, increased titer of antibody <coughs> against nuclear materials. Immunological disorders, you find the antibodies, the very specific antibodies of SLEs like anti double standard DNA antibody, anti Smith antibody, lupus coagulant. APS, that is APLA syndrome, anti phospholipid antibody syndrome, is also a part of this systemic disorder. You may find low complement level also. So, uh, if you find such uh, more than four criteria in some patient, you may sus suspect that it can be the SLE. How you do a pre-pregnancy counseling? You explain the patient that you have increased chance of preeclampsia, pulmonary hypertension, and sometimes the SLE becomes so worse that we have to use some drugs which are going to be teratogenic. That is increased risk of miscarriage and stillbirth. So this counseling should be done pre-pregnancy. Now obstetric management, once you get a patient, uh, pregnant patient, in many patients, most of the patients are in uh, having quiescent disease and you just need to do monthly workup, nothing else. Uh, there is a risk of embolism, so you need to prescribe aspirin or <clears throat> if there is a history of any event, thromboembolic event prior, you need to go for low molecular weight heparins. Differentiate from preeclampsia and lupus nephritis that happens in SLE, it is very important because in both disorders, there are something uh, similarities there, uh, both having increased BP hypertension, proteinuria, thrombocytopenia. So, it's very important to do differentiate and how you differentiate, you do some test of antibodies, okay. Fetal monitoring is very important because the risk of stillbirth is there and uh, for that you need to do a Doppler USG regularly and growth, rest uh, growth restriction monitoring. Now what is the first line of treatment in pregnancy? There are steroids, steroids are the first line drugs but should be used with cautions. Hydroxychloroquine can also be used in these things. Other drugs of SLEs are actually teratogenic so they are not used or used with caution and with uh, consultations 
with the nephrologists and medicine people. So, this is the brief criteria of a uh, brief idea of SLE in pregnancy. Thank you.